What's going on YouTube? Lopez back here with another video. I think I'm going to start working on a new intro. Um, possibly. I'm not sure. I'm getting kind of uh, not really annoyed with this one. It's just getting a little stagnant. So I think I'm going to try and spruce it up. You know, things like that. Um, capture card coming soon, by the way. Just got to put that out right now. I had a great stream today. Um, this is actually from my stream. I didn't know that I could actually hear my friend's voices if I recorded while streaming so I don't know we're gonna have to see how that starts going but anyways guys as you can see by the title of the video this is kind of a COD community rant and it's a little bit about the whole Call of Duty committee committee community but it's a lot about the competitive Call of Duty uh, community because I've seen a few things on Twitter about this, talking about how the uh, Call of Duty uh, community, man, I keep messing that up, Call of Duty community is kind of the, like, one of the reasons why Call of Duty is held down so much, because I think, uh, what was it, Counter-Strike, I think they had an event that had, like, um, over a million viewers or something like that, and it was insane, I mean, I think this weekend, Season 3 Finals, the highest it reached was like 60,000, which is still a lot, but it's kind of, you know, it's kind of lax compared to Counter-Strike, you know, Counter-Strike is, I mean, it's huge, and one of the reasons that I think that that is a problem, uh, for Call of Duty at least, is because the Call of Duty community complains all the time about Call of Duty. Now, I'm I'm guilty of this. Okay, I'm not going to lie. It's not like I don't complain about the game. I do. I complain. I get mad all the time, you know. But and I mean, that's just kind of Call of Duty and it happens also in Counter-Strike. But the thing is, I think a lot of people are kind of are kind of put off. You know, like I think a lot of the Call of Duty community has gone to like watch CS:GO, Counter-Strike and um They've gone to that community, and that's why they get a lot of viewers and stuff, because they only hear good things about Counter-Strike. But, you know, people from Counter-Strike and Halo and Dota 2 and all these other games, like, they hear about Call of Duty, and they're thinking, wow, this game sucks. Like, it must be horrible to watch, because, I mean, I'm guilty of it. I, like I said, I complain too, but then there's all these, like, pro gamers. They complain about the game, and then you got the community... The community is just, I mean, sometimes the community is unbearable. Like, today, during the chat, um, it, like, during the chat for their stream for uh, the Season 3 championships, like, it was crazy, man. Like, all these people are sitting there just calling each other, like, 12-year-olds and everything. And, and I mean, the thing is, everyone's calling each other 12-year-olds. So, you're kind of like, <laughs> I, I don't understand, like, who's the 12-year-olds then? Like, I I don't know. It's it's kind of annoying um, when you go into a chat because you realize that all these people, you know, they get mad all the time. Like, if you go into a chat, everyone is complaining about the game or they're talking about how bad someone else is. Like, let's let's get this. Let's just kind of, like, focus on that for a second. Uh, I understand, you know, some people, they think it's easy to just kind of hound on a, I guess, an eSport athlete or any athlete, really, in general. You know, they can be like, oh, you suck or whatever. Think about it this way. These guys that are competing, you know, Parasite, he said something before, uh, back when he was on another team. He's a pro player. He said something like, you're sitting there watching me play. It's true, though, if you think about it. Like, everybody is watching him play. And they're talking about how bad he is. Now, he may be bad as a pro, but you got to think, he is, like, they are pros. You know, I shouldn't say he, but they. They are pros. Like, they they get paid to do what they love, and they're good at it. That's the thing. Now, they may not be the best, but they're, you know, they're at the bottom of the best ladder, if that makes sense. So, like, if there's a ladder for competitive Call of Duty, they're at the bottom of that ladder, but they're still part of it, you know, so people can sit there and they can call these pros bad all they want, but, I mean, they're not, I I don't think that they're that much better themselves, you know, like, they may sit there and talk about it like they are, but, you know, they're really just talking big, and it's, it's funny because these guys, I mean, they think they're invincible and they want to just talk and talk, and there's, uh, there's a big, um, Oh, how do I say it? There's like a big issue between Optic and FaZe fans. 
Okay, and I don't I don't understand what all the hate is. You know, I get you're from opposing sports team, but you don't have to hate each other. Like that's just childish. What's the point in not liking each other because one person likes the other team? That's just dumb. Okay, and in these chats, it happens all the time. Like they're talking about where are the optic twelve year olds now when FaZe wins one map or something like that, you know? Or optic fans, they'll be in the chat and they'll be like where are all the phase fans now? All they do is talk trash and all this kind of stuff. And it's like, you're doing the exact same thing. Now you're just being a hypocrite. So, I mean, I get it, okay? Like, I get that you want to support your favorite team. But, you know, that kind of impacts, not impacts, reflects the community of Call of Duty in a poor way. When all that we do is argue with each other in the chat, you know? Nobody can just be like... Wow, that was a great play. You know, like, I'm a huge Optic fan. I'm not going to lie. But if FaZe makes a great play against Optic, you know, it's going to be great. Like, you can't deny that it was a great play. You know, things like that. Like, people don't understand that. People, you know, they play the favorites for their team, and they want their team to win so bad that they're willing to trash talk anybody that sits there and, like, likes a different team. It's it's kind of... I, I I don't understand it, you know, it's kind of a immature way to look at things, but then again, I mean, yes, a lot of the community, I guess, could be under 18, but, you know, there's no way to control that, that's another thing that kind of pisses me off about, like, the MLG chat in, uh, for these streams, like, people are like, is there a way that they can make this to where, uh, you can only, like, view the stream or chat if you're 18 or older, and it's like, you you say that like it's easy, but I mean people can fake their age all the time. Like I remember when I first made my uh, PlayStation Network account, I put my birthday way before my birthday was. Why? Because if I didn't, then I would have to sit here and like switch accounts and like do all this unnecessary stuff for my billing information. And, you know, people don't like to go through that. So you know these kids, they'll fake their age. They don't care. You know, and someone will be like, well, why don't you use a credit card? I thought you use your mom's credit card. It's not going to be, I mean, if, as long as it's not charged, I'm sure their mom wouldn't mind them having the credit card. But, you know, these people, they, it's, it's a lot of complaining in the community. And I think that's what's kind of holding esports back or Call of Duty esports right now. Um, I definitely think all this complaining just kind of like puts people off of the game you know people don't really want to watch call of duty or go into the chats or anything because people talk about how bad the game is and stuff like that and i think that's why this next year i definitely think that um call of duty esports at least is going to blow up because these guys at treyarch they've done some amazing things before like with black ops 2 and Black Ops 2 was when Call of Duty Esports basically blew up and became this huge thing. It's when I found out about it. And I've been into it ever since. I've loved it. Like, it's it's been great. And I definitely think Black Ops 3 is going to help. But the problem is, I mean, the community has to learn that you can't just complain and complain and complain and all this kind of stuff. And then expect, like, esports to be big. And I feel bad for the pros. Because they're out there playing and everything like that, but they're not playing, I mean, they are playing for like a huge group of people, but, you know, it's it's not as big as it could be. They could be getting so much more exposure and everything like that, but, you know, I mean, the Call of Duty community is holding it back. That's that's all it is. It's the community, and I mean, also the pros, you know, they, they've also got a little bit of blame to it, but I th don't think you can blame them as much, you know, and I... Another reason I feel bad for pros is the community will hound one person after another on teams, you know, like Optic Imbos, okay, like he, what he was doing at events before is he was, he's playing the objective, you know, he's trying to make sure that his team will get the win. Now, they may not have gotten the win every time, but, you know, that's what he was still working towards, and people gave him flack for that because he didn't have the most kills or the most deaths. Or the most, <laughs> he didn't have the most kills with the least deaths, and you know I I don't think that's fair. I don't think you can give him flack for that after all the stuff that he does to try and get his team to win. And then, you know, then this tournament, right? He goes off like he is beating everybody and stuff like that. And people are still talking about like you know nobody knows who to blame then, so they start to try and find other people to blame. And it's kind of like guys, like 
yeah, you can, like, point fingers all you want at these pros, but to be honest, I mean, it's a team game. Like, just because one person's going off doesn't mean your team's going to automatically win the tournament, you know? And I, I feel bad for Embos, you know? Well, I feel for Embos. Like, I get, I get, I don't really get what he's going through because I've never gotten that much flack before, but, you know, it's kind of messed up that people give him this nickname like Embos or jo uh, Drop Embos when Embos isn't even that bad of a player. Um, Nade Shot, also. You know, he's one of the bigger names. He's probably the biggest name in Call of Duty Esports. He got so much flack before he ended up leaving off the game. And that's pretty much the reason why. You know, I mean, he's going to... He talks about how he he has tough skin and, like, that wasn't really his reason for it. But, I mean, eventually it gets to a point where you're like, why am I even competing? Like, all these people think that I suck and all this kind of stuff. Like, what is the point of me being here, you know? And that I think that's kind of what happened to him. So he kind of just dropped out and he, you know, once you keep, like, if you keep doubting yourself over and over again and you keep hearing the things that other people say and you start thinking about them yourself, you're going to start believing them. You know, like, if people say that Nade Shot sucks even though he's dropping 2.5 KDs on every single, like, map, the more he hears it, the more he's going to, like, start to believe that, wow, I must really suck if all these people really think that I suck. You know, and I don't, I don't think that's right. And I think... That all comes down a lot to the like the community, you know. I think the community discourages a lot of people uh, sometimes from playing, and I don't know, man. I think I just think that the attitude needs to change with the community, and it, I I definitely think that it'll get better with Black Ops Three, um, just because of the fact that you know Black Ops Two blew everything up, and the beta the beta was amazing. For Black Ops 3. So I definitely think that Treyarch has got something amazing going right now. This is a really long video. I'm actually going to upload uh, highlights from this without my commentary. Um, just because of the fact that this was from my stream. And I ended up going like 63 and I don't know like 15 or something like that. So you know guys I'm going to start streaming a lot more uh, definitely. And like I said I'm pumping out videos more often. I don't know what it's been. Uh, I've been kind of, you know, I've been a little bit discouraged uh, lately. Um, just these past, this past day, really. Um, and I'm probably going to talk about that in another video. But, I mean, right now, I realize that all these people trying to discourage me, I need to not believe them. I need to stop, like, letting them put doubt into me. I'm sick of having doubt instilled into me because people, other people don't believe in me. Um, so guys, like, I'm, I'm definitely going to talk about that in another video. Uh, it's, it's kind of a personal thing, but, you know, it's, it's not too personal to where I don't think I should upload it. So, uh, I guess that's what you guys have to look forward to soon. Uh, also another highlight video of this. Uh, you know, thanks for watching, guys. I don't know how many people really sat through this. I doubt a lot of people did. But if you did, I really appreciate it. Uh, maybe you could leave a like on the video also. Maybe if you're new around here, if you haven't actually subscribed, maybe you could subscribe now and uh, maybe leave a comment. Check out my Twitter down in the description below. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.